dans un vrai CDR. Il faut dans un vrai CDR, il faut dans un vrai acteur. Et quand c'est le CDR, il faut dans un vrai acteur. 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 Night Night Fight Session 10. I'm here with Shaman Williams. He gave a great word to the kids tonight. And Shaman is actually grew up in the Greenville area from uh, Southside High School, legendary Southside High School. And so we're grateful to have him out tonight. Played in uh, for the UNC Tar Heels, played in the NBA for a couple of different teams as well. Um, so Shaman, it's great to have you here. It's good for the, I'm happy that the kids get to see a guy that made it to the next level and to come back to the community where he came from and get some great words tonight. So you said a lot of good things tonight. But uh, one of the key things that you said was once you change your environment, how that affected you. So what actually, uh, how did it affect you when you changed your environment? What, what kind of change in your life? Well, it allowed me to get some information that I couldn't get from my environment. Uh, I think that the most important thing that we, we need as individuals is information. Then you have information, then you can act on it. But if you don't ever have the information, then how can you act on it? So. Uh, you know, just having an individual that was capable of teaching me something that I didn't know to help me get to where I was trying to get to was very, very beneficial uh, in my growth, uh, not only as an athlete, but more importantly, as a person. And so a lot of times, you know, it's difficult for people to leave the environment because that's where you've always been. That's what you know. And that's what you're comfortable with. But to grow, you have to be a, and be willing to leave that environment to gather more information and, and, and to put yourself in a position that you can achieve the things that you're trying to achieve. Okay, awesome, great. So what would you say were the keys that attributed to your, your personal success? Well, first and foremost, my faith in God. Uh, that was the most important thing. Like I said, you know, I, I knew I knew, you know, what I stood for. I knew, you know, what where my my heart and my mind was even though at times I, I didn't do the things that I was supposed to do uh, I always knew that you know I had a base I had something to hold me accountable to the things that I was doing the second thing was not wanting to be ordinary you know I, I, I wanted to I wanted to be special and um, and part of that was you know just having something to continue to push me when I, I didn't want to do it yeah, I, I, you know, I attribute people saying what I couldn't do, um, helping me become the man that I am today, because that made me strive even harder to prove to people that I was more than capable. You know, I was the first person to graduate from college in my family. So after I graduated from college, it became a prerequisite. So all my cousins and my brothers and everybody began to graduate from college. I had another cousin graduate from the University of North Carolina after me. So beyond the, the athletic um, aspect of it, being able to grow 
and leave the environment and show people what we were capable of, it, it set a standard. And so I think when you begin to change your standards and uplift your standards, then it makes everybody around you lift up what they're doing as well to, to be on that level or even higher. Everybody begin to understand, hey, you know what? If Shaman can do it, then I can do it as well. So you get to uplift the community by just your standard. That's awesome. That's a great word. And one of the things I love you said, a uh, part of success that's important is always giving back. Always and, giving back. and you're here giving back. And what you did, like I said, you set a standard for somebody else to follow. If they didn't have you, they might not have, not have somebody else to follow. So I'm glad that you set that standard. And thanks for coming out tonight. We appreciate you, brother. Oh, man, I appreciate you. Yeah, thank you. Me. I really enjoyed it. Yeah, that's it. That's it. Nice. Like session 10. We'll be back soon. My name is Nakia, and I am here right now with, what's your name? My name is Ratio. Ratio, nice to meet you, Ratio. So, um, what school do you attend? I attend Carolina High right now, Carolina High School. Ah, okay. What grade are you in? I'm going to the 12th. 12th grade, awesome. So you're going to be a senior now. That is awesome. So tell me, what are you looking to get out of night flight? Um, I really, I really didn't come here to, like, get anything really out. I just came to have a, a great time with my friends, stuff like that, just to have fun. But I actually learned a couple stuff from, uh, I think that dude, um, Shamont William. Yeah, I learned a couple of things for him, for just sitting, him watch their, sitting there watching him talk. And stuff like that. Awesome. So what was, what was the favorite thing you liked about what he said? It was cool. Like, I just liked the fact that he was an NBA player. Like, I never seen one in real life. That was pretty cool to me. Yeah. That's awesome. He's from right here in Greenville. So there you have it, guys. We'll see you next time. Hi, guys. I'm here tonight at Night Flight, and I have one amazing player with me. What's your name? Xander. And how old are you? 15. What school do you go to, Daniel? Pickens High School. Great. So um, tonight, what are your goals to get out of here at Night Flight? Oh, I'm just trying to take dubs. I want to take L's. Just trying, just trying to win. Great. So how's your team doing so far tonight? Uh, we won our first game, so we're going to see what we can get out of that. Great. Well, we'll look forward to keep watching you play. Thank you. What's your name, young man? Zaire. Zaire? Zaire. Zaire. Nice to meet you, Zaire. How old are you? Ten. Ten? That is the perfect ten. What school are you from? Uh, well, we moved here from Clover, but I'm going to AJ. I don't remember the rest, but AJ something. AJ Wittenberg. That's a really great school. So, what did you like best about Samara's speech? Um... I like that he didn't give up, and no matter what anybody said, he just kept going and proved people wrong. That is so awesome. That is one of the great key points that I like, too. So thank you for your time, hon. I'll see you next time. Thank you, guys. All right. We're good. <laughs> Hi, 
Hi guys, I'm here tonight at Night Flight and I have a coach I want to interview. So what is your name? My name is David Clayton. So how did you get here, end up being here at Night Flight? Well, uh, I got out here at Night Flight. Uh, I met Lamar about five years ago. Um, got out here, just you know, had a great interaction with him, believed in his vision, his purpose, what he had planned for the youth. And uh, it's all about making a difference. It's all about making a positive impact. So anytime you can get out here and you can try to get with these young kids, I mean, the kids are the next generation, so if we can make a good impact on them and we can lead them by example and uh, you know teach them not only about the game of basketball, but if we can teach them about life by using the game of basketball, then we're killing two birds with one stone. So that's what it's all about. So that's how I got introdu uh, introduced to Night Flight. I've been here ever since, and I'm addicted to it. And uh, you know I look forward to every Friday night being able to fellowship with the kids and give back. So that's definitely a big blessing. <laughs> Great. Well, thank you. We look forward to seeing you again. Ha, ha, ha. All right, I'm with the championship team, Red, with Coach Larry. Your first night out, you won the championship. What do you attribute to your team's success? We get that T out here. <laughs> the hustle, the character, um, the teamwork. All right, hustle, character, teamwork. Y'all remember that, hustle, character, teamwork. Give it up for yourself, Red. Congratulations. Yeah. Night fight, session 10. We'll be back next week. See y'all.